Browns, Redskins. Coming up on EA Sports, we welcome you to Landover, Maryland for today's game. AFC versus NFC as kickoff fast approaches, Phil. Well, we have two teams that don't know each other very well. And when you don't know each other very well, you play cautious. And when you play cautious, you don't play as well as you should. So it should be a high school game. And they crash into him, ending the return at the 20-yard line. They come to the line, and it's first down. The Browns come out in the pistol. Boyer's going to be in the pistol here. Takes hand at the football. He's taken down at the 30, imposing their will early on the defense with a solid effort on the ground. Well, we talk so much, don't we, about the passing game in the NFL, but it's still about who can out-hit the other one, and right now, the offense, they are winning that battle. Nice run. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. The handoff to Ben Tate. They'll mark him. At the 40. When a coach can have a run and picks up those kind of yards, it gives them confidence and they will show more and more patience with the running game. So the defense, they better dig in here. And here we have second down. Ryan Hoyer will take it from the center. He'll get it again. Robinson's there to take it down. Can't pick it up a couple first downs early in the game. It's, well, it's like when you play golf and you par the first couple holes. I know it doesn't happen a lot, but when you do, it makes you feel good. First down here after the run. Takes in the backfield. Single back set. There's Cameron, and they bring him down at the 33-yard line. What a way to start the game on offense, picking up another first down for them. They are in rhythm, and now no matter what they call, they're going to feel like they're going to make it happen. First down here after the completion. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. It's going to be a false start call on the offense. Well, you work all week long on a game plan if you're the offensive coordinator, and you come right out, and it works. Yeah, it gives you a lot of confidence, does it? It makes the offensive players, they feel good about what's going on, and it gives confidence to that play caller. That's just as important. First down at the 38. The handoff to Ben Tate and Cofield's there to make the tackle. For the offensive starters, one of the most dangerous receivers in the league who had a breakout season back in 2013, Josh Gordon. Yeah, he broke out in a big way. As one corner said to me, he's the biggest, fastest, strongest wide receiver in the NFL. That is saying something. But Josh Gordon is an exceptional wide receiver. Left, 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 left. Knee, 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 knee. Second and 13. They'll run it with him again. The tackle was made. For the defensive starters, a very capable pass rusher out of Purdue is Ryan Kerrigan. Yeah, athletic, tough. He can overpower you on the pass rush, and he also is quick enough and nimble enough to go around you if you're not paying attention. From the shotgun. Throwing now to his left. Incomplete. Almost going in the other direction. Every quarterback in the NFL is going to have one or two passes a game. They can be picked off. 
most of the time to drop, and this time that was a bad drop by the defense. No good. An empty trip for the offense. They go for the long field goal try, and in the end, they come up empty. Yeah, they came up empty, Jim, and I, I thought it was a risk by the head coach. Uh, didn't manage the game very well that time. I would not have tried the long field goal. First down here. The Redskins line up in the pistol. Griffin, play action. The defense gets a sack. Well, I know this feeling. When a blitzer's coming, nobody's there to block him. There's nothing you can do as a quarterback, but try to protect yourself because you're going down. They'll try over again on second down. The Redskins will approach this play from out of the pistol. They bring him down one more time. Well, it's all about timing. I got to tell you something. The safety did a wonderful job timing the snap count that time. Caught everybody off guard, and he gets the sack on the QB. Third down after the sack. Jackson's a receiver in the slot. Screen pulls it in. They bring him down, and the offense fails to pick up a first down on three plays. No game on the play. They're in punting formation. And he steps out of the field of play. Benjamin, such a great athlete. You've got to find ways to get the football to him. Here's another way to get it to him. On a punt return, how explosive is he? Man, very. That's the answer. They face first down. The Browns come out. Two tight ends on the field. He's looking to the right here on this throw. He's brought to a halt. Well, the corner route. Some people call it the corner route. They call it a flag. Run to the flag of the end zone. Or a seven route. Odd numbers break out. That time we see a nice route by the wide receiver and a good throw by the quarterback. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Tate's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. The Browns will come out in the pistol. Has his target and by Kerrigan this time. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later, that defense is going to come up. And when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. So they complete one, and still it's second down. The handoff to Ben Tate, and he gains maybe three. Tate's a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Offense lines up here. Tate's taking the handoff, and that'll be a gain of about two.
It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. It's Tate in the backfield. Offense lines up here. Second down and seven. Looking to the right side and throwing. Gordon taken down. Browns offense, they go with the pass down here in the red zone. They throw the ball and it's completed. When it doesn't pull the defense, it gets very little yardage. This is third down. The Redskins come out in the nickel. Boyer's going to take the snap from the shotgun. He'll throw it over the middle. And he's intercepted. Tackles made. This defensive coordinator, he is one aggressive dude. He keeps going after this offense. And finally, he gets the interception inside uh, their own 20-yard line and stops the offense from getting any points. First down here. Morris is in the backfield. First down at the 20. And Morris has got on the handoff. And that's Kruger in on the stop. And a player to watch is running back Alfred Morris. Alfred Morris all in one. He can run it, run with power. He can block for the quarterback. He is an awesome NFL running back. Coming up, second down. And Morris is lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. The play clock's running down. Welcome back to the action. Today, it's been all about the defenses. Second down following the run. The Redskins come out in the pistol. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Tackle down at the 22. That last play was a run. Third down coming up. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Griffin's going to take it from the gun. Bumble. And the defense has it. And he's brought to the ground. The defense comes up with the big play, the hit and the recovery of the football. Uh, they sure did. They got so much speed on the defensive side, and that speed, when you think about it, it gets more people around the football. It helps you deliver the hit even harder, and that's why they got the turnover. Great job. It's Tate in the backfield. First and ten. Gets the handle here. Once they get inside the 20-yard line, you have to be able to run the football also. It can't be pass, pass, pass all the time. The offensive line comes through. Good, solid run that time. This will be second down. Offense lines up here. Throws to the right. Makes, he's got the touchdown. Good job on that touchdown. That puts him ahead. And it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind. The Browns with an extra point try on the way. 
He made it. The Redskins ready to return the kick. Fields the football at the three. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. First down on the way. And Morris is lined up in a single back formation. It's the old counter play. Shears, the one who made the big stop. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense. And now they have a good situation. Second down. Defense filling up the box here with a 4-6 formation. RG3 going down the field. Very nearly intercepted. Well, the defense has to be depressed after that play because when you get a chance to get off the field, get a turnover, and get the offense off the field, man, you got to take advantage of situations like that. That last pass incomplete, and it brings up third down. Nickel formation for the defense here. Griffin in the shotgun formation. Unable to bring it in. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. The Redskins call for the punt. He's churning ahead. Benjamin's taken down at the 40. Clipping, I know from your days as a player, that's something that just makes you cringe. Well, it does, and it really cringe just for the player because it, it puts them at such a disadvantage. They can't protect themselves, and you're always fortunate if you don't get hurt in, in, when one of these calls is made. First down coming up. Takes lined up as the single back. Three, two, lined up two tight end set he'll keep it on the play fake the Browns get a first down charging ahead Boyer's able to show off the footwork wow what a good job look at those feet like a dancer gets himself in very good position to throw the football The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. It's Tate in the backfield. Will go ground. Outside to the right. Gets about nine on the play. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Second down here. Brian Hoyer takes it from the center. Keeps it on the play fake. Brian Hoyer. He's going to throw it. That D'Angelo Hall with the interception. He stacked up at that point. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception.
It's first down as they head to the line. Alfred Morris lined up in the backfield. Handoff by Griffin. Game's about three. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. RG3 has it under center. And Morris is going to take the handoff now. After that last run, it sets up third and six. And Morris is lined up directly behind the quarterback here. He makes the catch in on the stop. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. First down here after the completion. Griffin's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. And Morris is going to secure the handoff. Wittner's there to take him down. Good job by the offense. Another first down. The defense absolutely is getting tired. And when you get tired, you make mistakes. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Griffin the third will have it in the pistol. A tackle behind the line. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Play number six coming up on this drive. Offense lines up here. Play clock's running down. The quarterback unable to get the playoff in time, and that'll be a five-yard penalty for delay of game. Second down coming up. RG3 out of the pistol. The Redskins snapping at the 41. Looks to his left. Gilbert's able to knock the pass away. Well, it doesn't get much worse than this, does it? You're losing the football game. Now you're... at third and long and look there are no miracles in the nfl i'll tell you that so be smart if the play is not there don't force it dump it off and wait for the next time you get it third down here offense trying to pick up the first jackson's lined up in the slot rg3 from the gun Long ball to Deshaun Jackson. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. They're set to punt it away now.
Benjamin's going to look for space now. Young's there to make the stop. The Browns are getting set for their next possession. Offense lines up here. First down and 10. The handoff to Ben Tate. Bites off the hit. What an explosive run by Tate. Tate's the guy, anytime he gets a chance to get into secondary and make a big play, he thinks he's going to take it for a touchdown. Not this time. It's a big run, but still, well done. First down here after the run. Throws the pass. Tackle just three yards short of the first. Second down go, go, coming go. up. Brian Hoyer will take it from the go, center. Go. Green, 90. Green, 90. Keeps it here. D'Angelo Hall with the interception. Running room. He's brought down. We've hit the two-minute warning here in the first half. First down, offense readying for the snap. And Morris is handed the football for about four. Second down here after that run play. Rhino, Rhino, Rhino. It's a two tight end formation. Throw to the left. Sticks to his hands. And that'll gain just a few yards. Well, the drag route that time picked up solid yards. These receivers, sometimes they get a little nervous running these drag routes or these short crossers because they are afraid so a defender is going to come out of nowhere and hit them. That's the quarterback's job. See in front of the receiver, lead the guy to the open space. And Morris is in the backfield. Single back set. Third down and two. And Morris is taking the handoff. First down by the offense in the red zone. And, you know, when you're on the defensive side, you don't have to worry about deep passes anymore. You can be more aggressive and take some chances. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Defense with plenty of bodies in the box here on this play. Right back to the ground. Bryant's there to make the tackle. The Redskins signal for the timeout. And that's the first one they've used. That leads us to second down. Defense comes out in a 4-6 formation. Gets it again. Looking for some data. Redskin in for the score. Well, here we are. It's a tie game now. We'll see how the teams react to it. Will it be positive or negative? The Redskins line up now for the point after. And the extra point is good. The Browns are back deep, ready to return. Moore's got a chance for a return. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line.
The Browns come onto the field now for this next series. Hoyers setting up now in the pistol. First and ten. Good throw and good catch right on the sideline. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. This will most likely be the final play before the half ends. Reaches out and grabs it. Nice tackle. We've reached halftime, and we'll be sending it back to our studio and Larry Ridley as we continue with the NFL on EA Sports. The Redskins ready to return the kick. start his return and the tackle is made right around the 26 yard line The Redskins will begin their drive from the 26 now. Big set here for the defense, lining up in the 4-6. And here we go, the first snap of the second half. And this will end up as a two-yard loss. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. After running it, it's second down. Griffins lining up in the pistol. With two hands, he has it. Good piece of tackling. That was a nice job by the quarterback reading the defense. Nobody open down the field. He throws it short, and look what happens. Yards after the catch. Good job by the guy catching it and getting those extra yards. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Griffin set in the pistol. Hand off. That's a gain of six. That'll be second and four after the running play. Defense filling up the box here with a 4-6 formation. Right back to him once more. And Morris is stopped there. The defensive end has the outside runs. That's his assignment, and he did it well. Takes on the tackle. Beats his rear end up pretty good. It makes a tackle on the running back. Third down now. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Trying to beat the play clock. As his target, Kruger's the one who brings him to the ground. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down. Now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you've got that defense guessing. First down here after the completion. The Browns defense packs it in now. Going with the 46. Handoff made. That's a gain of seven. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt. When you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done.
Second down and three following that nice run. RG3 has it under center. And Morris has got it on the handoff. Third and short, following the run. Morris is in the backfield. They better hurry to get the snap. And he's taken down. Well, when you see the defense is going to blitz and you can't pick it up, as a quarterback, you've got to change the pass protection. Remember, protect yourself at all times. He didn't do it, so he goes down. The punter awaits the snap. for error here with the offense. It's Tate in the backfield. Now first and ten. Tate's going to take the handoff now. Met by Cofield that time. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stopped him for a short game. Second down coming up. Boyer's going to be in the pistol Coming here. Move 45. Move 45. Looking across the middle, Boyer's pass will go for an incompletion. Man, the quarterback, the coaches, his teammates, everybody loves to see a player give that type of effort. How about the receiver just going all out to make the catch? Doesn't quite get there, but the effort is outstanding. Third and nine after that last incompletion. The Browns lined up in the pistol. Taz Gordon. Tackles made, and the first down is picked up. There's no doubt, time of possession can be an overrated stat in games many times. But one thing you want to do, throw and catch it just like this to pick up those first downs and keep it going. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. The Browns in the pistol. Selling this play big time. The defense, they go for the run fake, and that's why he has time to throw the football and makes the completion. Good job. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Offense lines up here. The handoff to Ben Tate shakes off the tackle. That picks up seven. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Second down now. Austin's lined up now as a slot receiver. Tate's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. That is just a killer. 
Delay of game against the offense. Something you can control. Snap in the football before the play clock runs out. The quarterback's got to read the defense, make sure his guys are aligned, and also watch the play clock. Hoyer's setting up now in the pistol. The Browns have it at the 34. Takes another handoff. And by Kerrigan this time. They'll decline the penalty and let the play stand. Well, you get a couple first downs on a drive. It just, of course, it makes you feel good about what you're doing. It loosens up the offensive play caller, and there's nothing like dictating to the defense. I love it. Warriors lining up in the pistol. First and ten. On first down, it's back to the ground game. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. This offense makes it look so easy. Just marching down the field. Now they've crossed midfield. Let's see what they got going on now. It's now second down. Play fake. Down the field. Almost intercepted. I know we've all heard this phrase before. That's why they're playing defense, because they can't catch. Hey, the coaches don't care about that. When you get an opportunity, they want you to make the catch. This will be the eighth play of this drive. It's Tate in the backfield. Here we go now. Move 45. Move 45. Third and six. The defense gets the sack. That's a bad job by the offense that time. There's no doubt about it. The blitz by the defense. They do not do a good job of finding out where everybody's blitzing from. They let a guy come free, and that free blitzer, or as we call them, free runners, he gets the hit on the QB and takes him down. place to start this next drive RG3 has it under center first down and 10 and Morris is going to secure the handoff Taylor's in on the tackle running backs they love counter runs they know when a defense has been over pursuing so they make that fake one way and when they cut it back there's usually a great running lane there It's now second down and five after running it on first down. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. He'll take the snap, the first here in the fourth quarter. Brought down by Dansby. Of course, it's going to be tired after this run. That is a good long run. The offensive line was terrific, and he does a good job finding a hole and picking up those yards. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Griffin the third will have it in the pistol. They need to get the playoff. And 
Morris is handed the football. And that gains one. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. RG3 out of the pistol. Right back to him one more time. Mingo brings him down. When you talk about counter runs, what we just saw that time, the defense thinks the play's going one way, then a pulling guard or tackle comes around and catches a defensive lineman off guard and makes a good block. It's third down coming up. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. And he's forced to the ground. Well, the defense has got to be excited. Anytime on third down they make the play, uh, they get pretty fired up. But when you sack a quarterback on third down, that is one happy and emotional defense right now. All set to punt here. He is tackled at the 40-yard line. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Boyer set in the pistol. The handoff to Ben Tate. Tackle down at the 47. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator coming with the counter run. And the defense being too aggressive. They're over pursuing. So you do the little counter, go the opposite direction, and it works well. Austin's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Second and three. Tate's taking the handoff. They are all over him behind the line of scrimmage. And a loss of one. Looking at third down. Offense lines up here. Boyer standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. He's looking to the right here on this throw. back now. He'll be punting. come to the line and it's first down nickel formation here for the defense quarterback coming to the line hoping to avoid being sacked for a sixth time in this game and he's thrown to the ground good job by the defense they disguised that blitz they waited and they timed it perfectly and the quarterback not able to make the pass protection change and not being able to make that pass protection change well it ends up in a sack for the defense 
And here we have second down. Griffin from the gun. He'll throw it over the middle. Brings it in. Gains 17. Nice catch by the receiver, but it still doesn't get a first down. On the way, third down. Alfred Morris lined up in the backfield. The play clock's running down. Griffin over to Reed. Reed's met at the 30. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving. Give yourself three more opportunities. First down here after the completion. Play clock's running down. Looking to the right side and throwing. And Garcon is stopped there. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing league, so we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs. out of the gun. Long ball to Deshaun Jackson. He's in for the score. A Hail Mary pass. I threw a lot of them in my career. I did not hit one. And here today, how about that? They throw the Hail Mary pass. It's completed. Terrific job by the quarterback and the receivers. The point after is good. The Browns are back deep, ready to return. going to test the coverage here. That brings the play to an end. First down here. It's Tate in the backfield. To the ground, middle, and by Kerrigan this time. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. They get set quickly, ready for another snap. Warriors back in shotgun formation. Secures it with two hands. Well, I think we all know the situation here. It's a close game in the second half, and you're losing. But you pick up a first down, oh my gosh, that opens up many more possibilities what you can do on the offensive side. Good job by the offense. Throws the pass. Incomplete. try over again on second down time is running out here in the fourth and the defense is trying to preserve this win incomplete as he was looking short Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. 
These guys need to make something happen on offense with time beginning to run out. Boyer's got it in the gun. That catch will extend the drive. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. Big first down by the offense that time here in the second half. They're losing a close game, and you get that first down. It just gives you confidence. It opens up the playbook, and it just gives you a better chance of going down the field and getting the score. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line. Two minutes remaining, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. First down, let's see what they come up with here. Just about two minutes to go, and the defense knows it needs to make one last stop to end it. Almost intercepted that time. The defense did everything right in that situation. They were in the right spot. They were smart. They read the quarterback's eyes, but they dropped the pass. Second down coming up. Time, obviously, a factor the rest of the way. Split backfield here. No, no. Blue 45. Blue 45. Second down and 10. Still got it after the play action. Robinson's able to swat the pass away. Oh, good job by the linebacker knocking that pass down that time. All he did was watch the eyes of the quarterback, and he reacted. It put him in good position, and he knocks the football down. down coming up needing a first at this point split backfield here Ready, move for the move for the from the gun and incomplete what a hit that time every play in an nfl game is huge but when you're talking about fourth down with the game on the line well this could decide it all so hard to stop an offense four times in a row this is going to be interesting to see how the defense goes about it back at the line they're going for it on fourth the Browns will go with the pistol on this play. The Browns will take the snap from the 30. That's a missed opportunity, and now they'll have to bring out the defense. I thought it was a little too early to take that gamble. You're down by a few points in the second half, and you go for it on fourth down. That's a big decision, and I think it was the wrong decision. First down, pressure on every snap now. Garcon's in the slot. The Redskins will take the snap from the 30. And Morris has got it on the handoff. They call for the timeout to stop the clock. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. Defense with plenty of bodies in the box here on this play. And Morris is going to take the handoff now. And that's Ruben in on the stop. And they'll try to conserve time here with this timeout. It'll be third down. The Redskins, pistol set here. He's got the catch. Now, they 
take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. That's what you want to do. Just get a first down, especially when you're on top. Keep the clock moving. Keep the defense guessing. Make them react instead of attack. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Will go ground. Can't find space, and this will be a loss of one on the play. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Coming up, second down. Morris is in the backfield. Takes it again, middle. Ryan's there that time for the tackle. It's about managing the football game. That's why they ran the football right there. Not a big game, but sometimes you have to be predictable. You have the lead. You're trying to get rid of the clock. you got to run it. All right, Phil, before we go, tell me about the atmosphere down in that winning locker room right now. Oh, it's always a wonderful feeling once you win the football game. Just think about it, Jim. It's, it's, it would be like you playing around the golf, and you know it's just you against one other guy, and you practice all week long. The anticipation builds. You're so excited for the match, and once you get it done, man, it, it, it's a wonderful time. What a memorable game this truly was. For Phil Sims, Danielle Bellini, and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now, and we leave you with the GMC Never Say Never moment of the game.